hello beautiful peoples happy friday welcome back to the channel and as always thanks for the support i really do appreciate it so people from ever since auntie donna and ashanti 360 make peace and move on i realize a lot of people still have the most to say and is still doing the most for some reason i see a set of individuals coming out now on their platforms playing all videos all lives of Ashanti cussing out AD. Them a go back in a memory lane, something like that. Them call it, I don't even know. And trust me, when I see all of that, you see, when I see them just doing the most, I have to shake my head and kiss my teeth because what those individuals are doing, it make no sense. Them just a waste them time, basically. Let me tell you guys. You see, I realize because they now see that Ashanti is trying to make a change. Because they see AD come out and she big up Ashanti at times. And she go over his platforms at times and she leave a comment. Because they see that Ashanti is now coming out and defending his co-worker and is supporting her in everything. Them not like that at all. It's it's like them body has scratched them or something so them want all of that to stop that is why you see them coming out and doing the most trying everything every way to stop the love and unity that Ashanti and AD now have so it's been a year now or almost a year now since Ashanti came out publicly on his platforms and apologized to AD for all what he did to her. Not only that, remember, they both meet and greet in Canada. Them take pictures together, them dance together and all of the good things them. That was something to talk about because it was so beautiful to see something like that between the two of them. Right now, I suppose to still have the pictures them in my phone just to show you. Overall, a lot of people was just happy to see that. A lot of people support the peace and want the peace to stay that is going on between the two of them. Now, to be honest, a lot of people never like Ashanti for nothing. And that is just the truth, including myself, because of how he used to come out and do up AD on social media. I come out and I say that all the time. Me never like a bone in a Ashanti. Not even a bone. Me never used to watch him or nothing. But now I find myself watching him more because him a go on with himself over there. The other day I did a live, I was talking about him and someone sent my life to him and he came on and he make, you know, a few comments and things like that. So for me, the new Ashanti is more calm and is more humble. Yes, at times him still come out, him still cuss out people and him still go on with himself. But to be honest, he's not carrying on like how he used to carry on in the past. And I hope that he really take his time and just change from that. Come out of the negativity and stop in a cuss cuss with people. But I understand, I get to understand say, I just saw Ashanti steer if you know you know but i respect him for admitting that he done wrong to ad and come out and apologize to her publicly for all what he did because to do something like that it is not easy you know and to do something like that it have to come from your heart and it is clear that it came from his heart and he mean what he said because from i see him come out and say what he said he just stop he is making a change he is trying and i see that and i support that a lot of people do because i realize that Ashanti is getting a lot of support and love from some of the plankers them so that is good but I just don't understand why some people stay so and why some people is like that some people they just want to stuck in the past and move on from nothing some people they don't believe in chances or changes and that is the problem that is a lot of people problem Tell Tell me now why those individuals are go back in all of that negativity, all of that bad 
things to come between two persons that is mature enough to make peace and move on. Look how much negativity, drama, mix up and all of that going on on social media and those individuals, they don't want it to stop. It is clear that they love it and they don't want peace on social media at all. I hear one of them go as far as to say that the only reason why AD forgive Ashanti is because she tired of him dragging her every day, this and that, this and that. And it is disturbing because all of that, all of what those individuals is trying to do, it is pointless at this point. Because no matter what them dig up, no matter what them bring up back and come with, it's not going to work. Because AD and Ashanti move on from that stage, from that level a long time ago. You see AD, she is a woman of God. She believe in forgiving. She forgive a lot of people that do her her wrong. Ashanti is not the first and he won't be the last. Her heart is soft and kind. That is how she is. At the end of the day, forgiveness is of God. It is the right thing to do. In life, we have to learn to forgive, let go and move on from the past. When it's a peace, support it. And if you don't want to support it or whatever the case might be, just keep it moving. Right now, there is so much things happening around the world. Some evil people out there in this world that is doing all kind of evil things. So when I see people trying to make a change, doing good, showing love and have peace in them, support it because it is something good or you just keep it moving as what I said. Now people, I saw an interview going around that the great Selene did. It is all over social media, so I'm pretty sure that you guys hear of it, watch it or something. But I must say, I am happy for her and I am proud of her. She look well taken care of. She look clean and fresh. She look well fixed up and everything. The other day, she keep her big dance again and she do a giveaway there. I saw some pictures with her on TikTok and she just a go on with herself and to see her doing her thing not really on social media begging and so it is a change and I like that and I hope that she keep it up it seems like she now have someone else that mean her good in her corner and that is good. As I said, I hope she keep it up and she don't go back into her old ways. So in the interview, the man asked her a question how she and Auntie Donna, if them still good. And Selene said that she will always love Auntie Donna and the both of them is good. Them just keep them distance. She even mentioned that Auntie Donna would ask how the baby at times, her grandson, Joseph's son, and she would tell her that him not have no pampas feed or juice or nothing. And she said that Auntie Donna would go buy them and drop it off and things like that. One thing with Selene, you know, guys, she's a big fridge. She got chat everything and she not got keep nothing in. But regardless of all what went down with Selene and Auntie Donna, regardless of all the bad things that Selene did to Auntie Donna, it is good to know that they are still good and that they are keeping their distance. Sometimes we have to love a person from far and show them tough love no matter how much we love them or how much they mean to us. No matter what, it just goes to show that Auntie Donna, she still love Selene and her son Joseph. We all know that she loved them from day one and that will never change. As a matter of fact, Mr. Wallace, I need to run back um, um, and need boat money. Yeah, man. Run back boat money and stop rob the country. You rob the country, you 18 billion dollars, you rob the country. And you can't get a confit. And look how you treat the teacher like that. Nasty. Teacher, they want more money. More money, people them can't survive. 
People, I don't know, but one thing, Jamaica always a keep. When it's not one thing, it's a next thing. And it's like every time workers and people go on strike out here. And right now, the teachers are on strike because they need a raise in their pay. The teachers, they need more money to survive, basically. So they are taking actions now. And because of that, it affects a lot of schools. A lot of schools in the country is not keeping because there is no teachers in some school to teach and it is going on from week i see so much videos going around of teachers speaking out and everything so i hope that the prime minister the government and those people see what is going on and listen to them and do something real quick because teachers are very important without them how our children's students and people overall is going to learn and have an education without them to teach there is no education basically so the prime minister the government as what i said they have to do something real quick about this one so that the teachers them can go back to teach and do their jobs